Hello everyone, my name is Beth Worrell and I'm joining you today from Ghana country down in um, actually freezing cold South Australia. Before we get started, I'd like to recognise and pay my respects to Elders past, present and future. Joining me today on the presentation is Jan Bayless, who is from LinkedIn Learning Solutions and my wonderful colleague and partner in crime on the traineeship program, Dr. Gatani Nair from TAFE New South Wales. The purpose of the session today is to talk to you about Microsoft and LinkedIn's recent global skills announcement and some of the free resources that you may choose to use to support your students or your school leavers um, as they prepare to come into the economy. And we certainly know and recognise that the job market is going to be a very, very tough job market. And so the purpose of today is to share these resources with you if they can be at all helpful in supporting students to upskill and stand out in a crowd, that's that's the intent of the session. We are recording the session today, so there will be a recording that will be made available at the end of the presentation, as well as this document that will give you a, a bit more of a, a detail in terms of the, the resources that are available and where you can access the assets. We won't have time to go through every piece of content available today, but what we hope it will provide you with is a, a, a whistle stop tour of what is available, as well as the ways in which you might use it to support your students and school leavers. Please feel free to share your questions in the Q&A section in the Teams Live channel. That's absolutely fine. We will try and get to some of those questions today at the end, time permitting. But if there are particular questions that come up, we will also include a response to those questions in the Q&A section um, in the response after the event. Thank you once again for joining and we're really grateful and hope, hope that you find today's session useful and interesting as you support your students and school leavers. Before we get started, I just wanted to reflect on Microsoft's purpose which actually is a very social purpose, which is to empower every person on the planet to achieve more and give them every opportunity for the knowledge that they need to su succeed in life and at work. And I think whilst COVID has, has been um, impacting the ways in which we live and work around the world, this social purpose is really um, brought to the fore for Microsoft and has given us a lot of um, chance to reflect on how we can do more to support people through this unprecedented situation. To some extent, this situation um, in regard to the skills challenge, at least, has always been um, go going to happen. It was the crisis that was always going to happen in terms of recognising that people would need to reskill just because the sheer pace of technology is moving so quickly. McKinsey estimated that 800 million people would need to learn new skills by 2030, which is uh, incentive in and of itself for people to upskill and reskill and learn new things to, to be more employable in jobs going forward. In a report released today, uh, I was amazed to see that Australian businesses have implemented 10 years of technological change in just one single year in response to COVID. And so what we know is that organisations are now requiring more digital skills than ever ever before. I think COVID has removed a lot of jobs from the eco economy that may never come back again. And the jobs that do come back are likely to need more digital skills in terms of being able to participate in the economy and in organisations that have actually had to rapidly digitally transform. And so I think this situation that has affected organisations worldwide really gives us a sense that we need to do a lot more to help people reskill and we do need to do that as quickly as we possibly can. So back on the 1st of July, Microsoft, LinkedIn and GitHub made an announcement where we aim to support 25 million job seekers and support them to get the new skills they need to participate in today's digital economy. In Australia, we have set a very um, ambitious goal to reach 500,000 500, job seekers in Australia. We recognise that our unemployment figures have doubled almost overnight. And again, young people and school leavers are coming into the worst economy that we've had in 30 years. So 
we need to do a lot more to support people to get the skills that they need to find jobs in this new economy, as well as help people move through this new economy, reskill into new jobs. In making this announcement, Microsoft, LinkedIn and GitHub very much observed that this is something that we cannot do alone. Whilst we have some digital skills resources available, we need to collaborate very closely with a range of other organisations. So we need to work very closely with the private sector. We need to work closely with the public sector. And of course, we need to work closely with the universities, with schools, with TAFEs, with non-profits and non-government associations. So part of my job in the philanthropies team is to create partnerships and collaborations with non-profits and non-government organisations. I'm also working very closely with the pub the public sector. So I've run a session like this actually with the federal government. We're also working closely with an organisation called ADECO. I'm sure you all, all heard of, of them. And so we're looking at collaborating with all kinds of different organisations to try and make these digital skills resources as accessible as possible to, to job seekers. Um, and of course, because of the, the relationships that we've developed with our TAFE partners uh, through the traineeship, but also through a range of other collaborations, we're really looking to work as closely as we possibly can with TAFE, with universities, but also schools and careers advisors to make you all aware of these resources in the hope that you find them useful to support job seekers. In terms of what we've done, there is a, a global link to the, the free digital resources that are available. But what we have produced in Australia is a localised version of this. You can see the web page there, aka.ms slash get digital skills. And this is the single point where you can access all of the resources that are available and that we will touch on today. It will start with some data that you can access via the link via LinkedIn. LinkedIn have made this globally available and you can actually access information that gives you an idea of the types of jobs that are being advertised, the employers that are advertising for these jobs and the skills that are starting to emerge in Australia. From that data, you can actually break it down state by state. So it's actually a really useful resource if you're wanting to get more specific information about your particular job. We also have a range of um, links there that link off to the global resources that LinkedIn have made available. But we have also tried our very best to capture um, local career case studies to give people a sense of what the jobs are like to, to work in and to, to kind of inspire people to consider reskilling and upskilling into these types of careers. So very much recommend that you take a look at this particular web page to get a, a, a full view of the resources available. In regard to the resources themselves, you, Microsoft and LinkedIn have thought very carefully about supporting learners on, on their journey wherever their journey starts. And so what we are looking at covering off today is, is a suite of resources starting in supporting people who perhaps have never used a computer before. Certainly we recognise that um, a lot of people are familiar with the resources, but some people may not have computers or the internet access at home. And these are important resources to support people to start with the very basics. Those resources then move on to office productivity and soft skills necessary to get jobs in today's marketplace. Then we have 10 career learning pathways that are related to 10 in-demand jobs. We've got AI powered job interview and coaching tools. And then we have deeper technical certifications available to job seekers where they're looking to obtain a micro credential. So I will shortly hand over to my colleague Jan, but I wanted to start off on the, the learning paths with the basic digital literacy course that Microsoft has available. This digital literacy course is, is about five hours long. It's comprised of six units. It's available online, but people can also download this information and deliver it in an offline setting if that is required. Um, this digital literacy course is in, is in um, sorry is available in multiple languages, so it's really useful to support people who are perhaps new migrants to Australia, 
and people working through this digital literacy uh, resource obtain a um, certification of completion, which is a really good start to build people's confidence as they're working to reskill themselves for new jobs. Um, I, I thoroughly recommend you, if you're working with people who perhaps have never had um, access to computers before or need to start at the very basic, this is a really good basis to support people to obtain the basic knowledge to move forward with their digital learning journey. I will now hand over to my colleague Jan Bayless from LinkedIn, who will take us through the next part of the, the presentation. Over to you, Jan. Thank you so much, Beth. And hello, everyone. My name is Jan Bayliss from LinkedIn Learning. And I'm just going to highlight just a few of the learning paths and courses that are available. And as Beth said, all these learning paths and courses are free or unlocked. In other words, you do not have to have a LinkedIn Learning account or a LinkedIn profile. That said, as you can see on the screen with this digital fluency and productivity, if, however, the participants would like to receive a badge of completion, which means they've completed every course in a learning path, then they would need to have a LinkedIn profile. Also to highlight, TAFE New South Wales or teachers, staff and students have access to LinkedIn Learning Free as being part of TAFE New South Wales. So to access that, feel free to visit the, your library at TAFE New South Wales or have a look on your staff and student portals, as well as Department of Education New South Wales and Department of Education and Training Victoria, teachers, staff and years 11 and 12 students also have access to the complete online library at LinkedIn Learning as part of their orgs. But for what we're showing today, anyone can access all this information today. And even the courses on here, Computer Literacy for Mac. I've got a Mac and this is how I learned from this course. So when I first joined Linda way back, they gave out Macs to us. And that's how I learned how to use a Mac today. And Beth, just the next slide, please. The next one, next slide we'll have a look at is critical soft skills. Now, it's so important to have those technical and hard skills, as we know, but just as important are the soft or human skills. And I work with corporate customers, government customers and higher ed, so I'm very fortunate. And I, with my corporate customers, were any, they, the, the human skills are so important. So I love the courses on here, Developing Your Emotional Intelligence with Emma. Love that course, love how she speaks. She covers topics like understanding emotional intelligence, being self-aware, managing yourself, social awareness, and managing relationships. So each of the courses in the learning path are broken down to different topics and each topic is made up of separate videos. So when you are incorporating this into your learning, that you don't have to, the students don't have to do the whole course. You might just pick out a video and perhaps use that as a primer, discussion primer for when they join the, the class because there's a lot of people who are reflective folk and I'm one of those reflective folks. So when I'm in a meeting, I think about things and it's later on I go, oh, now I've got that idea I want to share. So if you help those type of learners, perhaps sharing a video before class as a discussion primer will help them when they're in the class to have the aha moment and that point they'd like to raise. So it's a good way of using the whole course, the whole learning path or video from a course. Thanks Beth, just the next one. And practical support for job seekers. Now in this one, there's some great courses. There's one in there called 10 ways to stay motivated while job hunting by Amy Bateman, the founder and CEO of Career Cake. Great resource and all the instructors and in all the LinkedIn learning courses are experts in their field, which is fantastic. And the next one, please. Okay. Pursue learning paths for in-demand roles. And 
in that website, that link that Beth mentioned earlier, where all these resources sit, there's awesome, some great information about the most in-demand jobs globally, but also locally. You can drill down for Australia or any part of the world that you're in to have a look what's at a local level. So what we're sharing today, we've done some research. We've been really mindful. How can we make sure, like Beth said at the beginning, give everyone the right resources so you can be have that economic opportunity, which is at LinkedIn and Microsoft we're passionate about. Thanks, Beth. The next one. So role-based knowledge and skills. I won't go through all of these today. We'll have a look at a few of them, like the customer service specialist. We'll have a look at that one and also a couple of the others. And if, let's just go to the next one yes, so we can unpack them. But all this information and more, as Beth said, is going to be available after. Now, the customer service represented love the courses in here, love Jess to Tozer as well. He also has a great blog to follow about customer service to get that more information. So you can go down, but these remember, these are great primers for any classroom. And also I'd like to call out in regards to this particular learning path, TAFE South Australia, if you're on the quarter day, hello, TAFE South Australia, are using this particular learning path for the youth path job seekers and have blended this course into the nine day program. So far, job seekers have found it easier than they thought to get through and have provided very positive feedback. So there's a case study in itself. Reach out to TAFE South Australia if you're not sure and have a, have a chat to them how they're using it. But that's excellent. Thanks for sharing that. On the next, oh, whilst we're on this screen, I just want to shout out to, just to highlight, to reinforce that, as I mentioned earlier, these courses and learning paths are unlocked, they're free. You do not have to have a LinkedIn profile or a LinkedIn learning account. However, if you did want to get that badge of completion, you will need to sign in. And Beth has done a great job in the top right-hand corner there by showcasing, oh, thanks Beth, uh, highlighting the sign in. So click on sign in. And when you do, thank you Beth for the next screen. When you do, you'll get to this sign in. And if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, then you click that big red circle that Beth has highlighted, join now. And it's free. A LinkedIn profile is free. So there's no credit cards, anything like that. But to have that badge, you need to do that. And for your students, it's great. LinkedIn profile is a great way to start their career portfolio and their learning portfolio. So it is something and you can hide if you don't want to have your profile showing at first either. But there's a course for that on LinkedIn learning and that's free as well. How do you use LinkedIn? Thank you, Beth. So the next one is project manager. Now this is a hot topic. I mean, we know there's an ad for one of the car companies that talks about the project manager, but it's a top, top skill that is required. And even if I'm not even thinking about going into project management per se, a lot of the roles that people go into do need project management skills. So your, your students can have a look at this learning path and check out the courses and start understanding what is required, even if they're going to help out on a, a project, even when they're at TAFE or at school. Project management skills are worthwhile and never a burden to have because they'll come in handy at any time. Thanks, Beth. The next one. And digital marketing. This now, a reason why I asked Beth to show us this one, because as I mentioned, I work with corporate customers and even in the banking, I have the big, uh, big bank customers and I'm working with their marketing teams because they're trying to transform, them, transform themselves. So digital marketing, how they market now is totally different. They had to pivot, especially with COVID. And here are some great resources. They're using LinkedIn learning resources to help upskill and change how the way they they do marketing and their skills. So marketing specialists, the skills in here to learn, fantastic for anyone to get an idea of what's required. 
Thanks, Beth. And the next one. And some optional deeper technical skilling. And as we know, the courses in LinkedIn Learning aren't going to grant, get you that certificate of completion, but they can help you prep for it. But if you deeper dive, absolutely. Our friends at TAFE, the, our industry, Microsoft, where you can get those certificates of that recognition, absolutely. These resources are going to help prime your students, give them an idea, a feel for, a taster, whether this is for me or maybe I should look at another area. But that next step, I mean, learning is a, a passion and a, a growth mindset and a lifelong learner is the way to be. And if you can steal that in your students, that would be the best gift you can give them. So thank you for what you're doing and really going to that next deeper level for our people and our economy. Thanks, Beth. Our data analysis, absolutely a hot topic as well. So once again, maybe it's not something I really want to do, but I can get an idea for it. And here it is here. Or maybe after looking at this, this is what I need to do. And I need to go to do that next level of learning, that deeper learning at TAFE universities to get this as well. Thanks, Beth. And software developer, another hot topic. Once again, I love the different instructors we have in here. And there's some great exercises in, in the different courses to help. And then as you, if you do use a video as a primer, when they're in the classroom, then they can unpack it further about how practically I can use this, which is the best way to know how to transfer those skills. So they are great to get that same level set with knowledge as well when people come into your class. Thanks, Beth. Thank you so Over much, you. Jan. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, so Jan has just helped us unpack some of the 10 learning pathways that are available. Now, of the 10 learning pathways, six are standalone offerings that relate to roles like digital marketing specialist, project manager, sales representative, and customer service representative. And there are four jobs there that relate to more technical roles. So you saw data analyst, software developer, and then there is an IT administrator and IT help desk technician. Of the four more technical learning paths, there is an opportunity for job seekers to access discounted micro credentials that are available on Microsoft Learn. So if you are a TAFE institution or even a school, there are other types of um, uh, offerings that are available to students, which we can provide you with some more detail. So this offer is available to, to job seekers who just attest online that they have been affected by COVID-19 and are accessing this discounted certification offer. Again, this is entirely optional, but people are entitled to take one exam per person. They're usually 100 US dollars and for this initiative they've been discounted for, uh, to 15 US dollars which roughly translates to 22 dollars. Now there is a cost involved because these are proctored exams that come out with a micro credential which are industry recognized certifications. So again there is no obligation for people to go down this this pathway but if people are really looking for a role in and a job in technology and want to make use of this offer, it is worth you knowing that the offer exists and it is a discounted offer for a period of up to the end of March. Um, Microsoft Learn is also a wealth of other learning content, which is all freely available. Again, perhaps more of a bent towards people who are looking for a deeper te technology education and career pathway. But Microsoft Learn also has a student um, portal now as well. And so there's some really engaging lessons and content here that you can use with your students either at high school or even within the TAFE environment that helps to expose students to new concepts around data analysis and artificial intelligence. Really, really engaging um, subjects like using these technologies for environmental benefit and that kind of thing includes coursework to support teachers too. So in summary, 
The learning resources that are available, we're starting with a basic digital literacy course on the assumption that not everyone will have um, had an opportunity to use technology. So that's a great resource to start with. LinkedIn have unlocked a range of courses that support people around the soft skills and around jobs, job searching and um, interview techniques, which is particularly pertinent now given the current employment market. Then we have 10 learning pathways that are mapped to globally in-demand jobs that actually map extremely well to the in-demand jobs that we're seeing here in Australia. Actually, one of the most popular jobs right now is project manager. Um, so as, as Jan also said, even if you're not doing project management as a career and a job per se, the skills that you might get from doing a course like that would be relevant to whatever kind of job you were doing. So there's heaps and heaps of really valuable content. They're all freely available. There is no obligation to, to pay anything unless you do one of the four deeper technical learning pathways. And again, only if you opt for the certification at the end of it. So hopefully that provides some clarity. We're very keen to, to share this resource with you. Again, the intent is purely philanthropic from the perspective of our ambition to reach 500,000 Australian job seekers with the skills and support them to obtain the skills they need to, to find work in, in today's economy. We will be sharing this presentation and this information deck that unpacks all of the courses available after this event. Now, I'd like to hand over to um, the very wonderful Gatani Nair from TAFE New South Wales, who, um, who are fantastic collaborators and partners uh, across the board. Um, Gatani, we would love to hear more from you as to how you're looking to use these resources within the TAFE environment. Well, um, good afternoon. Thank you, Beth, and thank you, Jan, and the Microsoft team. Uh, it's just great to be um, be part of this um, wonderful initiative, particularly when a large enterprise is showing a lot of um, social responsibility, uh, and that's just commendable. Thank you. Um, so, um, um, when we hear something like this, uh, of course, um, TAFE New South Wales and all our other TAFE partners um, are, um, you know, are really going to jump on board. Um, so, um, if you actually look at the TAFE New South Wales response, um, if we go to the um, next slide, um, Beth, uh, we've actually um, looking at, um, uh, you know, um, a four-pronged approach. Uh, you know, I'm looking at everything that Jan and Beth presented and I'm thinking, uh, you know, I want to, we want to concentrate on what we call digital fluency uh, and um, that um, the best practice path for job seekers and the and the actual features that are available uh, through artificial intelligence and all that, uh, we really want to um, take advantage of that, um, you know, of that feature. I know that uh, I've been talking to our career pathways um, sections and we've got some teachers, uh, I'm sure, who's joined this call as well. So welcome to them. Uh, we really want to um, look at that, um, that path as well. And then the learning paths for emerging technology careers as well as certifications. So if we just um, look at them uh, a bit more detail as to, as to what our plan is, uh, if we go to the um, next slide on the digital fluency. Uh, and this is interesting because we hear digital literacy um, all the time. And um, now, um, you know, IT or technology, it's not going to be limited to, I did a technology course and I'm going to just go to a technology career or I don't like technology, so I'm not going to learn technology. But this is becoming, uh, it's bread and butter for every single area and we can't just isolate uh, occupational roles saying these are the skill sets that are required because skills are across everywhere. So this digital fluency is our, uh, you know, our effort where we are saying rather than passively um, putting a link in our, our TAFE models or whatever to say that Microsoft has all these courses available, go and use them, which we are going to do as well, uh, which will give our, our students you know, a lot of digital literacy skills uh, in every way. 
we want to actually push it into what's uh, you know into the digital fluency where the students will get the wisdom and the confidence to be able to use the digital um, no, the technologies that are available to them uh, in a very short time frame, make decisions and use the right tool for the right uh, context and right occasion, which we saw uh, in, in uh, when COVID hit, uh, where the businesses, whether they are technology driven or not, they had to really absorb and, and use that skill set. Um, so, um, so which is why, uh, you know, while we, we want to, um, you know, make all our students aware of these courses available, we want to use a lot more proactive path to it. Um, so obviously, I mean, Jan mentioned that all our students and staff has got, um, they get um, access to LinkedIn Learning um, and when they enroll, they get an account. Uh, it's all embedded in all our training products. So we are going to actually uh, looking at this even more with, with uh, all these new new skill sets that are available for digital uh, to make sure that digital fluency um, is, is our goal for every um, career area. Um, so we're, we're looking to have a landing page where we give that advice to say, if you're actually going into a course in marketing, here's a path you should follow using the Microsoft, um, uh, you know, the material that are available through various platforms that you talked about, and then to take advantage of the certifications as well, which I'll uh, explain uh, a, a little bit in a, in a, in a little bit um, uh, more in detail. So let's move to the next slide, please. Now, this is my, uh, you know, my, my pet um, area, emerging technology careers, uh, where technology is changing rapidly. Um, you know, our training packages um, are always lagging behind, trying to catch up with these changes in technologies, but we've got these te technology giants who are producing short, sharp focus skills to say, do you want to get in there? Here's what you need to do to get a career in as a data analyst. So we want to just really um, take um, uh, take advantage of that. And we want to you know, really look at what's called the imagination of technology training, where, uh, you know, how are we able to uh, utilize those concepts and, and the actual material that are available um, uh, through, um, you know, through the Microsoft uh, material um, and um, basically provide them that um, you know, short, sharp focus training, prepare them to it, give them the context that's necessary um, and then, uh, you know, uh, give them pathways to either reskill or to upskill uh, or if a job is, uh, you know, if, if a certain person's job is at risk of being displaced, let's just skill them very quickly because they've got the contextualized skills uh, already there and they want just focus skills. I want to be a data analyst. Here's what we need to do. So we, we're going to actually um, really look at uh, look at um, using these credentials um, uh, uh, that um, Beth really called micro credentials to accelerate this career advancement. And we're going to look at these um, stacking of these micro credentials across their job role because job roles are not defined um, as they used to be, say, even 10 years ago. So, um, and that's what we want to look at. And we want to make advantage of things like GitHub and all that as well, because the authentic project based learning that they, that it provides. So we, we're trying to look at really reimagining, um, no, re reimagining our technology training to align with a um, lot of um, you know, these things, all the material is there. So why would we go and re, uh, redevelop these things? Uh, we just want to train them very quickly for them, uh, for, for those careers. Um, so um, let me talk about certifications right there because we really want to, um, you know, really um, go into um, these certifications uh, in a big way and take advantage of them. Uh, number one is because it provides industry benchmarking where we actually um, really, um, you know, look at micro credentialing, not full credentials. It is important um, to, uh, you know, to have a consistent measure uh, according to industry requirements and and what better way with the Microsoft traineeship program we've been in uh, you know we, we've in a very big way involved in certifications and that's what we want to do uh, we want to have a comparable value base uh, uh, measure uh, I mean that's really related to the work context so it's not about 
um, you know, someone compared to somebody else's performance, but it's about what do they need to perform their job, and we can benchmark it using the industry certifications. So um, we want to actually really support students to gain these certifications, but also provide that, uh, that, that design and cognitive scaffolding that they need to get there by providing all, all the support um, through our various, uh, uh, you know, various facilities, various support that's available uh, with um, Tape New South Wales um, as well. Uh, so the, finally, uh, we also want to take advantage of the, uh, the pathways, um, the, the job seeking um, skills that, that we can uh, make use of. That's why I've invited our career pathway colleagues into um, this as well, because the, the um, features that are available uh, even the interview practice, the analysis of nonverbal, um, you know, body language and all that, the, the, the richness uh, of the content is amazing. Uh, and we really want to embed, uh, you know, um, these things. We know that um, federal government is releasing job trainer funds. Uh, the governments are releasing a lot of COVID response uh, and we need to train people to get the jobs. Uh, and we want to be embedding quite a lot of these things into those programs to support our students. So we're going to promote these job seeking tools through the Tate landing page. Uh, we want to, uh, I really love that artificial intelligence uh, interview preparation um, and, and um, all that, that, that feedback that you get. So really to actively um, have sessions, uh, particularly for, um, you know, we aligning with the new funding that's available, um, you know, new mandate that's given to TAFE New South Wales as a COVID response that we are doing. Um, the possibilities are endless and we've already begun uh, quite a lot of things and, and we will be expanding that journey um, you know, into the near future as well. Um, so uh, over to you, Beth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Katani. Katani. So we're very grateful for your contribution today. So just in terms of wrapping up, and we will pause just in case there are particular questions, but um, the, the URL here is um, aka.ms slash get digital skills. Now, this was an, a quick overview of the resources that are part and parcel of the announcement that was made on the 1st of July, which is um, a set of resources that are freely available to support 25 million job seekers around the world. In Australia, we think these have high applicability and relevance to students either in the TAFE setting or certainly even job seekers or young people coming out of school. There are a range of other types of resources that we have, including the Microsoft Learn content, Microsoft Learn for students, as well as Microsoft certifications, including MOS certifications, which are the Microsoft Office certifications. So for any information that you would like about those resources, please contact my colleague Yasminka. Her email address is there. We will also share her details after this event as well. I will pause there just in case there are some questions, Yasminka, that have come through in the chat line. Uh, there are. Thank you, Beth. Um, Jan, there are a number of questions still around the access to the courses. Um, could you just please um, go over, um, you know, the, the free model, how to access those courses and how long, and just answer the question about how long they will be free. Thank you. So from that link that Beth shared, when you click on a learning path and then click into a course, it's unlocked, it's free straight away. So you don't have to sign into anything except you know, that website that Beth showed us originally. Then from there, you click on a learning path and click into a course and you can access a course. The only time you need to sign in if you don't have a LinkedIn learning account or a LinkedIn profile, if you want to get that badge of completion of that learning path, then you will need to click the sign in button and sign into your LinkedIn profile or create a LinkedIn profile to get that badge. And at the moment, Beth, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at the moment, the courses uh, open till March That's 2021. Right. Thank you. That's right. So we've gotten to the end of March at this stage. 
Um, and uh, as as we said at the start, this PowerPoint deck will be shared as a as a takeaway for you to have a look at, where we've provided um, a bit more information about how you access the courses. And we've tried to provide some clarity on that. Yasminka, were there any other questions? There was a, another specific question about uh, from somebody about being at a Victorian TAFE and how would they get access to um, uh, LinkedIn. I think that's another one for you, Jan. Thank you. Uh, there might be some TAFEs. I'd have to check with the LinkedIn Learning team in, in Victoria that might have LinkedIn Learning. But if not, remember all these courses are free. And if you did want to sign up for access to the complete LinkedIn Learning Library, if you don't have access via TAFE New South Wales or D, Department of Education New South Wales or DET Victoria, and if your TAFE doesn't provide it, then you can sign up for LinkedIn Learning. So what I'd, I suggest for that TAFE, I would go back to your library, your TAFE library, and ask them, is there access, free access to LinkedIn Learning for your TAFE? And if not, you can sign up for LinkedIn Learning, but it for first month is free, but then you pay thereafter. But remember these courses, are free so you don't need a LinkedIn learning account for these courses. That's right um, and I can see here in the chat window that there was a question that came up about artificial intelligence. I'll just quickly plug our AI business school that might be of relevance to some of your students um, particularly in the TAFE setting so those are uh, resources that are going to be freely available and are really really interesting and useful for people to to go through if they're interested in artificial intelligence and those resources will be freely available for forever. So, yes, Minky, with the, I think we've probably got time for one more question. Um, the other questions are largely around getting access to this presentation, which I think we've um, uh, flagged many times. We'll make that available. We will also make all the links available that we've referenced, um, any reports, and we'll, we'll roll all that up and send it to you along with the recording. And please do feel free to share that uh, with, with colleagues um, and anyone else that may be interested. There was another question about um, any kind of student facing resources um, and we will provide that as well so that you can make um, you can let students know about all these great resources as well. Fantastic thank you so much. I should also um, say that Microsoft is going to be working on some additional student resources that will be announced in a couple of months time as well so this is a, a precursor to what we hope is going to be available um, for a longer period of time. As I said, these resources are in response to the situation we all find ourselves in in regard to COVID. They are available for a, a short period of time, but if your students and your um, TAFE students and even your colleagues could make use of the resources while they whilst they are available, we would love to to have them access those resources. The intent of today's session was all about trying to make you aware of the resources so that you can promote them to your students. And again, we're trying to reach 500,000 people with this curriculum and with the ambition in Australia, at least, to support people to upskill themselves so that they can get access to ongoing career opportunities and um, and and new um, learning paths as well. So thank you once again for all your time and attention. We're very grateful for your joining today. We'll send through all of the information to you after the event. And in the meantime, please stay safe and well. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.